Are you ready to witness the rise of a new beast in the skies? Today, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about developments in modern military aviation. A fighter jet that could completely reshape the power balance in the skies, introducing the Taycan, Turkey's first indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button and join the Car Updaters family, where we bring the world's latest military tech right to your screen. Welcome to Car Updaters. Now, let's get into the heart of the story. The Taycan, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, isn't just a new fighter jet. It's a powerful symbol of a nation's ambition to become self-reliant in the high-stakes world of defense aviation. Previously known as TFX, this aircraft is Turkey's answer to global giants like the F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II, and Su-57 Felon. With cutting-edge stealth, agility, advanced avionics, and long-range capabilities, Khan is set to be the crown jewel of the Turkish Air Force. But how did Turkey get here? The journey started over a decade ago, when the need for a domestically developed fighter became clear. As global arms politics grew more complicated and access to foreign fighter jet programs became restricted, Turkey realized it could no longer depend on external suppliers. That's when the TFX program was born, and it evolved into the Khan we see today. Let's talk specs, because this jet is no joke. KAAN will feature twin engines, giving it enormous thrust and top-tier maneuverability. It's expected to reach speeds of up to Mach 2, that's twice the speed of sound. It'll have supercruise capability, meaning it can maintain supersonic speeds without using afterburners, a vital stealth advantage. The aircraft's stealth profile is designed with sharp angles and radar-absorbing materials, reducing its radar cross-section dramatically. In short, it'll be extremely difficult to detect, let alone track or intercept. The internal weapons bay ensures that even when Khan is armed to the teeth, its radar signature remains minimal. Now, Let's talk about brains, because this jet doesn't just fly fast, it thinks fast too. Khan is being equipped with a state-of-the-art active electronically scanned array AESA radar system developed in Turkey. It provides 360 degree situational awareness and target tracking, even in electronic warfare environments. Combine that with advanced sensor fusion, infrared search and track systems IRST, electronic countermeasures, and AI-assisted combat decision-making, and you've got a fighter jet that's not just powerful, but smart. In terms of weapons, Khan will be capable of carrying both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. From short-range dogfighting missiles to long-range precision strike munitions, this jet is built to dominate both in the skies and on the battlefield below. One of the most interesting features, its compatibility with future unmanned systems. TAI has hinted that Khan may be able to operate in coordination with drones, possibly commanding loyal wingmen like Turkey's AI-powered Kizilelma UCAV, giving it unmatched strategic flexibility in a modern battlefield. The cockpit is futuristic, featuring a fully digital glass interface with voice command systems, helmet-mounted displays, and augmented reality-based target tracking. Everything is built to reduce pilot workload and increase combat efficiency in the most high-pressure situations. The first full-scale mock-up was revealed in 2023, and it instantly caught global attention. Then, in 2025, the jet took its first successful test flight, marking a historic milestone for Turkish aviation. And while full-scale production is still a few years away, the prototype is already showing that Turkey is serious about stepping into the elite club of fifth-generation fighter jet producers. Thai plans to integrate domestic engines developed by TR Motor in the long term, but for now, the early versions will rely on General Electric F110 engines, the same ones used in the F-16. This will allow the project to move forward while Turkey finalizes its engine tech. In terms of competition, Khan isn't just going to be used by Turkey. It's also being pitched to allied nations looking for a more affordable alternative to the F-35. And given Turkey's recent success,